I'm Linda Wilson, and uh, I really want to thank the community for this award. Um, I was thrilled to be nominated, and I really, um, for me, it's a validation of an acknowledgement of the work that I've done in the community. And you know, I don't do it for the awards, but it's nice to be acknowledged. And um, for me this year, it was a lot to do with a special bill that I ran. It took me three years to get through. It's called the Tiffany Hill Act. And I've had an amazing amount of, of uh, outpouring of support with this bill. Um, it was a, a lot of her, Tiffany Hill's um, friends helped me get that bill through. And what it is, it's electronic monitoring of uh, real-time notification for um, victims uh, if their abuser is close. And so anyway, we got the bill through and it was wonderful. And so I feel like that's part of the reason why I, I got the award was because of the hard work the, the entire community worked on it. Sarah J. Anderson School and, and all those gals, um, her good friends, they did a lot of work. And, and as well as the uh, sheriff's department and the investigators, the prosecutor, they were all on board. And, uh, but beyond that, um, I'm really appreciative because of the um, work that I do on behalf of small business. We are a small business owner. Here you are today. Um, we've been around for 61 years and I uh, actually ran for office because of a lot of the reasons that um, regulations affect and how they affect business. And we know now with this pandemic going on and the government shut down, how important it's going to be to um, help out business. And I think the chamber is going to be in a great position to do that and work closely with the chamber. And uh, so I think it'll be, um, it's going to be a rough year. It's going to be a good year, but we can do it. I would also like to thank Pacific Source, who sponsored the Chamber's Statesperson of the Year Award. And I appreciate your involvement and support.